Welcome back to Superstition Mountain. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how we use our lead arm in a golf swing. And it's very similar to how we would throw a frisbee or hit something with a backhand. So when I throw a frisbee, a lot of people think that they throw it with their arm like this, which they do. So when I throw a frisbee, my arm is definitely slinging away from my body. Now, the, the key here is the timing of how this works. As I swing my arm, what happens first? So let's, let's just throw this frisbee and see what we see. It's a paper plate, not a frisbee. I don't have a frisbee with me, but I'm gonna throw it as if I had one. Now we're gonna see the timing of that, how my left side starts to open up, my arm gets kind of thrown against my body, and then sling shots off. So that's something I talk about a lot. Every athletic motion has a loading phase, and in the loading phase, my arm is working back, and my body starts to unwind slightly ahead of my arm, which helps it to sling the arm off of my body. Now it's critical that the arm is fairly loose, because if it gets tight, it gets pinned to my chest. And it also can't be completely limp, because if it is, then we drag the arm into the ball. And you see that a lot with, with younger golfers and a lot of ladies as they swing, their arm will get pinned and it never comes off of their chest. So I've got a couple of drills that I like to use here. Drill number one, I actually like to take golf clubs and I'll have you just one-handed throw them. So if we're gonna do this, we're gonna take a step, throw the club. So I just got a couple old clubs so I don't break one of my good ones, but I wanna feel like I take a step and throw the golf club. It's a pretty good throw. Now you can see when I do that, my body starts and my arm gets more pinned and then it slingshots off. So there's definitely some force being applied to the arm, but the timing of it's what's critical. We have to make sure we load the arm correctly and there's some counter forces. So your body starts to unwind first. And most athletes do it naturally, but some people need to be trained. So here we go again. So, it's pretty good. So once I feel what it feels like to throw the club one-handed, now I'm gonna hit some shots one-handed. So I wanna make it a nice back swing, and I'll just let go of the right hand and let the left arm swing. And when I do that, you'll really be able to see how my left arm releases away from my body. In reality, it's not gonna be able to release this far away from my body. And the reason is I've got another arm attached to it. So it's not going to keep slinging off. At some point, it's gonna to have to fold up and go the other way. So again, we're using our left arm like we're slinging it to throw a frisbee or to throw a backhand anything we want to do with power. I wouldn't hit with just my arm. So in the best ball strikers, we see that the left arm is not pinned on the chest at impact. It's actually starting to come off the chest. Now, another thing that helps that arm along is we have another hand. So our right hand definitely has a job and it helps us because if we were just swinging with one arm, you can see in the videos I shot, I have a pretty hard time getting my left arm to sling off my chest soon enough. So that's part of the job of the right arm. So as we change directions, my right arm is not falling farther behind. It's not actually going as my left arm adducts my right arm is not falling farther behind me. It's actually moving with me or slightly faster than my rotation. So it's getting more out in front of me and helping me. And as I lose flex in my right arm, that moves my left arm out away from me. So this angle is getting off my chest at the right time. And you'll see that in most of the best ball strikers, you won't see them with that pinned like this. That's gonna be coming off. 
before they ever hit the ball. Hope that answered any questions you might have about how the left arm works. If you have other questions, please feel free to list them in the comments. I'm happy to make videos to help you, and I'd love to see you all out here at Superstition Mountain sometime.